Hey guys and gals, this is Mike Cricket 113 and today we have the MFJ product review and uh, I'm going to show you in this video as well how I am going to get this thing up in the air. Um, so this is the MFJ 2010. Zoom in on the uh, product label, that's the MFJ 2010 ultralight off-center fed wire antenna. 40 through 6 meters, so it covers 40 meters, 20 meters, 10 meters, and 6 meters in the USA. Gotta love that. I'll uh, put a link in the description of the videos. This can be part one of uh, three parts. And uh, I will put a link to the uh, MFJ 2010's uh, page where you can buy the products on MFJ's website or other ways as well. So anyway, this is what it comes with. So you have your, uh, inside here you have a, uh, a ballon of sorts. And then also you have your, uh, your braided, not braided, but tw twine copper wire, bare copper wire. There's a uh, 40 foot, 44 foot section and a 20 foot section, give or take. Uh, and uh, I will be mounting this out in the yard on a uh, 24 foot pole. Uh, they are fiberglass poles, and I'll show you here when we walk around. So that's what I got out in the yard here, laid down. And uh, these are, it's a temporary setup, so I'm not going to have this up all the time. The neighbors are already giving me eyeball looks anyway. So right now I got some uh, 3 8 inch, uh, rated for 150 pound uh, cordage uh, going out in all directions. Hopefully when I stand this thing up, it won't be as uh, crazy. I got a hose clamp here with some uh, 16th inch PTFE underneath this tape. Just some knots to keep it from sliding out. I have this on the 16 foot section, so it's about three quarters of the way up. And uh, down here, we got the pulley system, which is just a uh, inch and a quarter, I think it is, uh, pulley, nickel plated with quarter inch uh, line in it as well to hoist the antenna up. And this bracket, I don't know if you can see this, is honestly, this is what uh, you hang those curtain rods uh, with. You know, the ones that just set, I guess it's the, uh, I don't know. But anyway, I found this in a, in a uh, coffee can from my uh, father-in-law. So I just used it and put the pulley on there with some screws in there some wood screws. This is fiberglass. Now these are four sections, or no, six sections, I should say. Uh, and they are four foot long, and they go into each other about three three inches or so. And I just put that duct tape on there just for, I don't know, it's not gonna do anything really, but the gravity should hold it all together. And so there's six times four, that's 24 feet. Uh, and the guy lines are gonna be guide, and that's 16 feet up. And I will be putting that in that metal pole that's a two inch uh metal conduit that i rammed into the ground a little bit so there will be some support on the bottom as well to uh hold this up while i'm uh putting the guys in and i'll be running the uh i don't know if you can see it right there i'll be running that'll be the 20 foot side over there and then i'll have the uh 40 foot side somewhere around the edge of the garden or maybe over there i have some uh 532nd uh, string to uh, to tie that off. So this is part one and part two will be uh, I'll have the antenna up in the air and uh, all tied off and everything so you can see how it looks and then part three we're gonna do some transmitting so we shall see how it goes. So anyway this is my Cricket 113 with the MFJ uh, MFJ 210 and uh, also I'll put a link in the description for where you can get these poles. Uh, I'll tell you right now, it's called Coleman's.com. They're a company in uh, north of Harrisburg in Pennsylvania. So uh, you can get them online. They'll ship them to you. They'll ship a kit of uh, six poles. Uh, six four foot poles is one kit. They will ship that to you. Otherwise you gotta go pick them up if you want more. So anyway, this is Mike Cricket 113 with the MFJ 2010, part one. Take care.